Okay, we are going to look into this question. Is a white flag. Okay. So, why I call the top half, if I were to cover here, the top half is known as what? Box beam. This is because there's only one terminal and the shear flow goes to Q to one side and Q to the other side. Yes or no? So if I were to get the image for box beam and paste over here, what you see on the box beam analysis, if you look at the top half, Q go to one side from the terminal A and then go to there. So at A, the Q split to what? left and what and right I'll be clear at the bottom part if i cover the top now and we look at the bottom the bottom is like a white flange why i say like a white flange so if we take the image for the white flange over here and put it over here the bottom part is like a white flange is because whatever happened over here, Q goes to T2, Q goes to T3. Over here, if you look at Q1, it goes to terminal 1, Q2 goes to what? Terminal 2. Are we clear? So this is why the top part is a box beam, the bottom part is a white flange. Are we clear? It's only for that reason and that reason only. This problem is quite complicated because we combine what? The top half as a box beam, the bottom half as a what? White flange. Okay, so now let's look at, so the question asks, knowing that a given vertical shear V cause a maximum shear stress of 10 KSI. Okay, so let me remove this diagram, uh, this shape over here. So we, ha we have a, Shear force coming from the top. This is our VY. I'll do a transformation over here. This will be our Y. This is our Z. This is our rotation about X. Okay. So they mentioned that the maximum shear stress is 10 KSI in the head shape extrusion shown. Determine the corresponding shear stress at point A and point B. So we have to find the shear stress at point A and point B. The formula that we're going to use is equal, the formula that we are going to use now. So we'll, we like to find the shear stress is equal to VQ over IT, right? And we know at VA, or, or the shear at point A and the shear at point B and the shear at max comma V over I are what? Are constant. Okay. V over I are constant. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to determine the location of comics. Okay. We don't know where the location of Palmax yet. Okay. Now this question is nothing new relative to what you have done for your term test. Okay. I've, I've trained you up enough that questions like that are straightforward. Okay. So now let's look over here. So first of all, 
we are going to find the shear stress. Okay, we are going to consider. Okay, consider point B. Okay, consider point B. So I'm going to cover the bottom half. Okay. So I'm going to sketch or not sketch. I know the exact location of the centroid, the exact location of the centroid from the top is 1.5 inch. Okay. So now we are going to, again, I'm going to design the shear flow. Can you take me for it that is 1.5? Because I've, I don't want to spend time finding it, okay? You can spend time finding it, it will be 1.5, okay? Now, we designed the shear flow, and over here, you have Q on one side, Q on what? The other side. And I want you all to have a good practice when you say you consider point B, right? You consider point B and you call it a box beam analysis. I want you to put comma when it's box beam. I want you to have the habit of writing the word to Q. Are we clear? Yeah, I want you to have a habit of writing the word to Q. If it's white flange, you just write Q. If box beam, you just have to write to Q. So one go the left one go to the right the area to consider now is this entire area that i'm shading now this is the entire area they are shading now okay for point b because half of the at the terminal half will go to left the other half will go to what go to right okay so from here we can calculate our first moment of area qz at point B is equal to width, depth, y bar. Okay. So for this case, the width, so I'm going to take this thing out. The width is 2 minus by 0.3. Okay. So the width is 2 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3. The depth is 0 0.2. The y bar is 1.5 minus by 0 0.2 divided by 2. Okay, so this will be equal to calculator. So 2 minus 0.3 minus 0.3 times by 0.2 times by 1.5 minus 0.1 close bracket is equal to 0 0.392. Inches cube. Okay, so the shear. At point B is equal to what? It's equal to V Q over I T. So V and I, we don't know what they are. Okay, V and I, we don't know. Q, we know is equal to 0 0.392. And then you divide over here, you divide by what? 0 0.2 is the thickness. The thickness is equal to 0 0.2 because in thin wall analysis, the thickness is what? Perpendicular to the shear flow. You put two over here is because of what? Box beam analysis. It's very important you follow this. Okay, I repeat again, it's very important. So 0 0.392 divided by 0 0.2 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.98. Vy over Izz. Okay. So that is point one. Or, or at consider point B. Now we consider point A.
So point A is a white flange analysis. From here, you only need to consider Q, not two Q. Okay, so I'm going to copy again. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to cover the top. Right. So now it's a white flange. Right. So now, if you look at the shear flow now, the shear flow does this. So you have T2 and you have T what? You have T2 and you have T what? T3. Yes or no? Hold on, give me a minute. My screen is very hot because my uh my screen is too bright. Right. So if you look at point A, right? Point A is the terminal is at point where? T3, yes or no? T2 and T3 are two separate terminal. What happened on the left-hand section and the right-hand section? Are they connected beyond the centroid? The answer is what? No. That is why we only consider what? Q. At the top is the what? Is the box beam. At point B, from the terminal, Q is separated how many ways? Two ways. Are we clear? So a key thing to remember, whenever it is what? Whenever it is a box beam, you consider what? 2Q. Whenever it's a white flange, you only consider what? Q. And I just show you why. If, if, if I move this thing to the top, what happened to the left? The Q had on the left and the Q on the right, they are not connected at all. Are we clear? That's why we only consider what? Q. So from this case, what area to take for point A? Remember, for this analysis, everything will initialize from the where? From the terminal. So this is the area to consider. Everything is from where? Initiate from the what? From the terminal. Because at the terminal, the shear flow the shear stress is equal to what? It's equal to zero. Okay, so from here, it's really straightforward. So QZ at point A, so the width is equal to 0 0.7, and the depth is 0 0.2, and the Y bar is 1.5 minus 0 0.2 divided by 2. So this is equal to 1.5. 0.2 divided by 2, 1.5 minus 0 0.1 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.7 is equal to 0 0.196 inches cubed. Then, therefore, the shear at point A is equal to V over I Q over T. We know that V over I are constant, so this will be the Q is equal to what? 0 0.196. Thickness is equal to 0 0.2. So this is equal to 0 0.196 divided by 0.2 is equal to 0 0.98 by over what? Izz. So what we found from here, the decision made. So therefore, shear stress at point A is equal to shear stress at point B. So neither neither of them are it's what maximum. Okay, that's why it's a tricky question. So why not now we try to find the maximum? Where's the next point where you want to find? At the what? At the centroid. Why the centroid? Centroid now has the maximum what? First moment of area. First. That's the problem. Thickness is not like what? You do have a lot. Okay. So now we are going to find the centroid. We are going to use two ways to find the shear stress on the centroid. If the concept is correct, whether you use box beam or white flange at the centroid, the main thing has to be a white. So that's why this is a teaching, very good teaching one. For example, whether 
Can you capture the accent of white flesh and box beam? So we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to do this. So now I'm going to sketch position of my centroid. And then we are going to consider the top. Okay. And we are going to locate Q max. Okay. We are going to find, we are going to find Q. Or we're going to find tau at the centroid using box beam 